Hello everybody, it's Junior Computer Scientist here, and I'm going to be studying for an interview that I have this week. I know I just made a video about how hard the job market is and, you know, rejections after rejections, but I mean, I'm, I got lucky enough to have another interview this week. This was, this is the round two of the interview that I mentioned last video, and yeah. Essentially, I'm just kind of refreshing my brain on classes and like all of the things that go along with object-oriented programming you know encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and abstraction um the good news is i don't have to code in my upcoming interview uh i just kind of have to explain these things in depth and i'm going to be practicing doing that in this video so it's the reason I made this YouTube channel is to practice. So we're 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 gonna practice this, and I don't know. Hopefully, this helps some people that are currently in college for this, and they want you know some guidance. But I mean, there's plenty of resources out there. I'm I'm really just kind of practicing. And also, if I like explain something wrong or do a terrible job, you know, just leave a comment. You know, letting me know because that's the only way I can grow is if you tell me that I'm wrong and explaining stuff to me. That's actually how I learned a lot of stuff is, you know, being wrong on YouTube. But without further ado, I'm gonna just start with encapsulation. So I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna name it lifeform. Java. And lifeform.java has a private string and we're gonna call it name. And then we're gonna have an integer string no, that's the integer string. An integer named age, but it's gonna be private also. Now, with encapsulation, I think of setters and getters. And with setters and getters, you need private variables. And you need to set those variables with functions that are public. So you do public void set name name and well, obviously you have to declare this a string and make it the name and then after that what you would do is um this dot name equals name so that's basically uh I, I know you use this when you're inside of the class itself and you're referring to um a variable that is inside of that class so yeah, this dot name equals name, and also I can do public void uh, set age to int age. Well, not set it to. Well, you, you know what I'm saying. Have int age as a parameter, and then inside of this, you would do this dot age equals age. And outside of this, we would go to main, and I would create. Uh, a life form human equals new life form and I would do in order to like set name and age what I would do is human whoops human dot set age to I don't know 20 and then I would do human dot set name to my name Jordan and then I could print I'm glad that I got to this point I was gonna print out get name and get age but I don't have my getters so I'm gonna go back to life form and I'm gonna go under here actually I'm just gonna copy these and just change set to get and then change set to get and then I would do actually I don't even need to print out get age I mean I could just make this return name let me see if I already started coding that I did so I'm just gonna return it so which means I can't have this be void so public string get name return name and then public integer get age return age then we go back here and we do human 
dot get age. Oh wait, sorry. I also have to get rid of my parameters for the get, you know, my getters because it's gonna want me to actually have parameters. Then I go into here and I do system dot out dot print and I do human dot get name. And when I run these, I should get 20 in Jordan. So yeah, that's what, um, I mean, I guess I'll have to go into a little bit more depth, but yeah, uh, you have private variables here and they're not declared, but you have a set function or method, but I like to say function. So you have a set function, which sets the age to whatever's in the parameter and remember this dot age is just this because you're inside of the class and then public string dot get name just returns name and age which it can do that because um you know it's you're still inside of the class so really you're whenever i'm calling get age i'm going here to get this well you know what i set but yeah um moving forward so i we're going to go over inheritance so uh this human class extends life form and um yeah life form has all of these but i'm just going to make my life a little easier and just make these public yeah you, know, you have public age and public that and you have public void um let's have this like make a sound but like I'll, I'll call it language you know and we'll just pretend like animals have languages i'll do system that out dot print noise and then i'll just override those but um yeah so human has everything that life form has you know it's just the basic stuff also cat is going to extend life form too but as you can see i didn't have to rename like i didn't have to say uh cat and human need an age and a name variable in here because it extends life form and life form has that here it already has everything but let's, let's say like i had dog dot java right and then i extended life form also and then like that and then uh i just left it blank and i came here and made dog dog equals new dog and then i just called dog dot language so dog dot language what do you think this is going to do you're right it's the default it's just going to be noise I didn't even have to actually override that function in order to have it be equal to the original, um, just, just have the original output that it was going to have without overriding it. But without further ado, we're going to go into the next one. So that was inheritance. Now we're going to go over abstraction. Now for abstraction, you just have to have a abstract here, which makes it an abstract class. But the thing is, I can't really derive anything from like I can't create any child classes from this class because it's an abstract class. So I've learned that you use abstract classes when you have a very general broad object, if that makes sense. So like a life form, that's very broad. You know, you have plenty of life forms. You have humans, you have cats, dogs, elephants and stuff. You have so many different life forms. So uh, I'm going to make this a an abstract class. And also uh, I can make this abstract too. But if this is abstract, I can't have a body. So there is no noise anymore. But whenever I create a new class, I have to, and I mean, I have to create that function uh, language. So and that's why I have the red here in the dog class. So public void uh, language. 
and then you go here and we just do sis out um bark you know because dogs be barking that's why i'm scared of them so if i were to print all of these out i get the same exact output and that's good because you know these aren't getting derived from the life form class but if i were to do to get it to have it being derived from the life form class you would see that i have an error you can't do that so you know that's exactly what i just said i was just pr proving it really i just have to do all the same thing so uh life form has name and age i just have to declare name and age in order to actually have a name and age but you actually have to have a body for every single class that extends life form from here on out because this is an abstract method so yeah okay so i just tried to explain polymorphism i don't think i did it the best so i'm gonna try again so polymorphism uh poly many morphs morphism morphs so in this case uh i'm gonna be uh manipulating language so i know like i did this already with the previous example but um this is just more specific into polymorphism probably should have did this one before but um here we have language in the public life form class right and by default it just prints out roar and then when you go to dog uh i have a different um output bark and then a different output for this one english and a different output for this one cat so even though they're uh they're all from one class you know uh, they all extend one class each of them have a language function that actually prints out something different so um many morphs <laughs> uh so you look here and i have cat dot language human dot language and dog dot language and then i print all of those and as you can see i just like ran it and i got an error but there should have been an error because it was literally this code but anyway yeah you get meowanese english and bark uh yeah that may have been a better explanation but um not 100 percent sure but um yeah that was me practicing for my interview i have a lot more to practice but uh videos and trying to explain help me with stuff and i haven't gone over this in like kind of like a little bit of a while so it was kind of good to get a little refresher but um interviews coming up hopefully everything goes well i'm going to continue to practice the other things that i need to practice and uh i i hope i have good news um yeah, hopefully I have good news. I'll let everyone know. But without further ado, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord. The link is in the description. Follow me on Instagram and X. My name on X is Jordan CS. My name on Instagram is JordanCS.js. And I'm going to see all of you in my next video. Thank you for watching. I'm insecure still. And she's starting to know me. She think my feelings are bogus. But really she is. I don't like how I wrote this because it's